Why is it that you got into your fitness business? We're here at our Business Mastery Program in Sydney. We've got a great group of people, as you can see. They're there getting into the first part of the workshop. And one of the questions we ask is this idea about why is it that you got into your fitness business? Now, typically the responses that we get around the room will be that uh, people uh, wanted to leave a job they weren't passionate about. Um, they wanted to leave a, a job where they had um, a jerk of a boss, as someone said today. Um, people wanted to pursue their passion. Uh, people wanted to get paid for stuff that they were already doing uh, for free for people. Uh, people wanted to help others. They wanted to make change in the industry. They saw that there was an epidemic in terms of obesity. And the list goes on and on and on. And um, we agree 100% with all those statements and comments. And um, I guess what we say formally, number one, is that you, you've got to have that passion. You've got to have that enthusiasm for wanting to make a huge difference in, in this industry. Uh, but the second part to it is, uh, do you also want to make some money? Uh, now, quite often we see that the response uh, doesn't quite often pop up. We don't have many people say, I'm, I'm here to make um, the income that I desire or that I, that I deserve. And so well, I'm here to tell you today that you can have both, okay? You can have that desire, that love affair for wanting to help and assist people. And what we sometimes find is that the amount of income that people are earning sometimes doesn't match up to the amount of energy, enthusiasm and love affair that they have for their business or for the industry. Um, so what I'm telling you is that you do have the ability to, to, to be able to align those two together. Deliver, do what you love, do what you're passionate about, but make sure that you do set it up in such a way that you can get paid, you can get rewarded for your efforts. What you earn, that's entirely up to you. That's no one's business. That's not my business. Uh, you make the decision whether you want to earn 50 grand, 70 grand, 100 grand a year, 150, 300, or a seven figure income. That's entirely your choice. But what we say is make sure that you do have those two things married up. We've also got to be careful of uh, the language that can, can sometimes people say. I've heard people say, I'm not in it for the money. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a fair statement, but on the flip side, you've got to be careful of how that can come across because you know I guess what you might be telling the subconscious is that if I'm not in it for the money maybe I'm you know I'm not going to put the focus on those targets or those figures so you know if you weren't in it for the money well look you'd probably be doing it for free you'd be working for a charity or something like that um, and so to, to live the type of lifestyle that you want to live I assume that needs to have some income some revenue around it and it's your duty and it's your responsibility as a business owner to be able to do that. So there you go. A couple of things for you to think about on a Friday and especially uh, an opportunity for you to do a bit of brainstorming around this and go, why, why am I in business and do I feel like the amount that I'm getting rewarded financially matches up to the effort that I'm putting in? I've got to get back to the workshop. See you later. Bye-bye.